we spent those you know two seasons or whatever you know what i mean and and, and like we were buddies we were, we were close like we were we were mm -hmm. friends i think like there was one time i can't remember what year it was where like we went out in new york and me and you kind of like we're like oh you like <laughs> you're like for real and yeah, then yeah. like i remember like steven had some trouble with the bouncer and i went like dealt with this guy or whatever oh, yeah. like you you and me and 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 scott like yeah. out on, on the road man yeah and and yeah, we yeah. we had some like magical fucking times oh yeah man. like magical oh, yeah. fucking times and like I don't know, man. For me, like Scott, it, Scott is like, he is like legitimately a hero. Like he's like who I, I love would, Scott. Yeah, yeah. like talk, you know, talk talk about him a little bit, Scott Wilson. First time, first time I really did a a scene with Scott. But Scott used to sneak into my trailer all the time, and he'd have a little flask, and he'd be like, "Shut the door," you know. <laughs> like, Get in here. But he and I became really fr really good friends. I I just loved Scott, you know. I I think because I didn't know my dad as much as I'd have liked to. When I find guys that I really respect of that age, I, I fucking, I stick to them. I did it with Chris Christopherson. Like, I just, I stick to them. I'm like, I don't know what it is. And I just, I just love them. And Scott was so open. He was so honest. Um, last time I saw Scott was, uh, was at his house. We were all at his house. And we were watching his uh, In Cold Blood audition. Yeah, yeah. And he's sitting there next to me and he, he can't speak very well, and we're sitting there watching. The room's totally quiet, and I looked over at him, and he looked over at me, and I go, you're such a fucking asshole, <laughs> and he just starts laughing, you know, and I, I regretted not being able, able to come to his funeral, and mm -hmm. it was, he died right on the same day my daughter was born. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I made yeah, and I couldn't that. go, because we were in labor. Dude, that's yeah. fucking heavy. I couldn't Crazy. remember that now. Yeah. Crazy, right? Wow. And that's why I wasn't there. That's yeah. right. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I have so many, so many Scott Wilsons. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. And, 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 and by the way, man, like that dude could like, I mean, you and me were like getting after it. Oh, yeah. Then, and oh, like, yeah. That dude fucking, I mean. Uh, with, crushed like, us. We crushed. It was like oh, a yeah. fucking like hot joke. It would be like four in the morning. You and me would yeah. be like stumble. I mean, just so disgusting yeah. and shameful how we were. And we would be like stumbling <laughs> back. And Scott would just be like, yeah, I'm going to yeah. go back. You know, I'm like. Gonna go get, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go get. Clam get chowder yeah, down exactly. the street at the like, totally casino. Fine. Totally yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah. He was the best. The One best. of the kind. And and I know like when Sarah was on. Did you did you see that? I you know I had Sarah on this. On, I did, on this yeah. Thing. And like yeah. What, like, uh, what, you know I know we like when when she and I talked, we talked a little bit about Frank and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Man. Like, what's your what what what's your thing on Frank? Like, how do you? I didn't know that? Frank as well as you guys knew Frank. Yeah. I kind of came on. It, it was only six episodes, right? I came on on number three, you know. And Frank didn't have the conversations with, he, he was like in love with you and Andy and Sarah. You guys were the group. Um, so I didn't know him as well as you knew him. I, I, just got, I just met him, you know? And then, you know, you guys went to Comic-Con, I believe, and it was announced while he was at Comic-Con, some Something crazy like shady yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. that. I was bummed. Yeah. And I remember, you know, I remember working with him and he was so, in it like i remember they at one point they were like you need you know i'm crawling under a car and i jump up behind t-dog and all this stuff happens and and the makeup artist he was like norman needs more dirt and she's like no no I, that matches and he, he goes ah he picks up grease off the ground and just wipes it across my face and i was like <laughs> oh my god i love you so much <laughs> you know and you remember back then especially I, all i wanted to be was filthy all yeah. I was yeah. so dirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would steal the dirt, take it back to my room, and apply more to it yeah. when they weren't looking. Like, yeah. And they'd be like, you're so filthy. I was like, I want them to smell me and shoot yeah. the television Fuck screen. Um, I just loved it. Yeah. I was, I'm, a, I'm a dude. Yeah. I, like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Frank, to work with, he was, he was so inspirational. And, and it's true what Sarah said about the scripts. We got six scripts right off the bat. You know? Yeah, yeah. Less than a year before the show, I was like in jail. I was like, mm -hmm. that show like saved my life. So, so for me, I was like, the fact that you gave me this shot was yeah, so, yeah. like I'd never had a big, big gig for me. So I was yeah. like, but you, you just got your fucking star on the Hollywood fucking Walk of Fame, man. You know, in the last second, you know, like I, I was gonna make the speech for you. You know what I mean? Which was like fucking crazy. And I called Sarah like the night before. I called everybody, but she I called me. Sarah, yeah. and and I was like, man, like, wh like, what, what, what should I say about Norman? And she's like, do you know what you said to me like at the end of season one about Norman? I was like, what? She were like, I think he's allergic to acting. He's allergic to bullshit. He's allergic to pretension. 
because I used to say this thing about you where like your acting style was just like bursts of authentic, like I would be there like trying to like, like kill somebody and then I would like look over and see the way that you were doing it and it was like, it was just like so fucking real, you know? And it was like these bursts of just like absolute, inarguable, authentic moments, right? Like, are you aware of that? Do you feel like that? No, I, I, I mean, I, I guess there's certain things I don't give a fuck about. Uh, I, you know, I, I, maybe I got beat up too much as a kid and I don't know, I, you know, my first job, right? I was working at, I was working at a motorcycle place in Venice, right? Called Dr. Carl's hog hospital, right? I got fired from that job, somehow ended up in a play. The play turned into a movie and I didn't know what I was doing on the first movie and my dad was dying, right? And there was a scene in the movie where, you know, he comes out in a wheelchair and he kind of stands up in the wheelchair and he gives me a hug and it's this big emotional moment. And the director was like, how do you want to prepare for this? And I go, well, like, what are my options? Like, what do you do? You know, I had no idea what I was doing. We, we talk for a second, he gives me a phone. I call my dad, he can barely talk on the phone. I hang up the phone, they come get me. And I just cried so much that one of the crew members said, you know, at lunch, we're in Maine, right? And everyone ate in a tent, he said, he goes, you know, I didn't go to lunch, I went and took a little nap in my little room. And he said, nobody, nobody spoke. Like, that's how good that scene was. Everyone would just sat there and quiet. And I was like, oh, that's what this is. So I, I didn't learn to act, you know? I kind of learned as I got jobs. I think if it would have been the other way, if I'd have gone to acting school or something like that, I, I think it would be different. I think every my, I mean, I feel like everything sort of works the way it's supposed to work, but. But like, there's something about intentionality, right? Like there's something yeah. about like, if you go to acting school, it's like, hey, I really want to do this. I, and a lot of people go to acting school. I they didn't, either, yeah. Right, they want to like be a star. They want to be an actor. They want to go be on, on stage. Like you didn't. Like, I'm still a, not sure I do. Right, to be yeah, yeah, so did, like, tell me yeah. about that. I like doing other things too, you know, and I think if, I think if it, if I had to do a lot of the stuff I feel like you're told you have to do, especially in places like this, uh, I don't think it would hold my interest, you know? I think uh, I'm very aware of time, I'm very aware of mortality, I'm very aware of wasting energy on things and I, I don't want to waste any time, which is probably why I do so much shit, you know? Um, I want to learn stuff, I want to make real connections. The star is awesome. I, I can't believe I had a star in Hollywood, it was fucking insane. Uh, but will, you know, will I talk about it again? Probably not, probably not. unless somebody brings it up. Um, the acting thing, I'm still learning about it, which is I think, what's holding my interest, you know? Uh, there's something about being on this TV show this long where people see me age in real time that I find kind of interesting. Yeah. I'm always looking for those friendships like we had starting that show. I'm always chasing that, you know? Um, but I don't, you know, I don't, it's not that I don't give a fuck, because I do give a fuck, but there's a lot of things I think that I don't give a fuck about it as well. I remember being in, I think it was junior high, and I'm, wa I'm at another new school and I'm walking home down an alley and there's this group on the side and there's this group on the side and there's a bunch of guys and a bunch of guys and I'm walking down the middle and it's some annual fight they have and I'm walking down and they go, hey, which, fight, which side are you fighting on? And I went, fuck you both. And I walked down <laughs> and they all beat me up and they got along great after that. It, it was, you know, <sighs> fuck you and fuck you. And... I think I still kind of have that attitude. 100%. You know yeah. what I mean? So, Like, where do you think that sense of, like, uh, mortality and, and, and time, like, where do you think that comes from? I think it comes from my dad dying. Uh, my mom used to sell uh, 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 coffins, right? She called them eternal beds. So I went to a lot of, a lot of funerals. Um, yeah, I, you know, I don't, I just, I'm just aware of it. I'm aware of, like, you know, time goes really quick. I don't, I don't really bullshit very much, you know? I'm not good at small talk. Uh, I don't like to, to go out at night and put myself in a situation. I, and, and you know, when I used to, like when you and I would go out, 
I was first one that was obliter- like obliterated. And it's the only way that I could have small talk with people mm. is mm. I just get trashed. Mm. But then, you know, once it started working, once I had a little girl, I just kind of stopped it yeah. all.